Hi, Dean Craft C2 Solutions here. As a business owner, at a certain point, you'll realize you're losing control. All the things going on in your business, you'll struggle to be on top of them. And that's when you need to evolve to another level. And that means using a tool in your business that allows you to stay on top of all the tasks really easily. And that tool for me is Asana. So today I'm going to walk you through using Asana. And it's a great task and project management system that you can use in your business as well. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a tool I absolutely love and live in and use every day called Asana. Just go to asana.com and create an account or log in. Now, one of the great features I love, obviously you've got normal login, but if you're a Google user, you can literally just log in with Google. It's very quick because um, you just need your Google account and you're in. Okay. And once you're in there, it loads basically your tasks. So these are the things I have to do. So down the left-hand side here, you have all the different projects involved in the business, but you don't have to go digging through them to find your tasks. They come to you. They'll appear in your My Tasks section, okay? So anything you have to do, you just need to go to My Tasks and work through that. For the business owner and project managers, you can look across your tasks and um, see who's got what. So this section at the top here is the favorites. So you can see here I've got a C2 admin project um, and they're all the tasks for the admin team to do. Um, but that's you'll see down here there's a team and the C2 admin is a project within that team. So the team has members and you can have multiple projects underneath that team, okay, and even conversation. So it really centralizes all the communication um, that goes on within your teams. Okay, so these are your teams, the different projects underneath. But then these are shortcut favorites to the ones you access regularly. You'll see even, I've even got ones for my team members' names, so I can click on them and go and see what they're focused on and prioritize their work for them. Up in the top right hand side, you've got your organization. So this is my main one, and you'll see there's updates for me to update in there. And then you've got other businesses you can have access to. And so you can work across multiple businesses, but even and have personal projects. So you can put things that are not in any organizations like your own personal to do's. Uh, the dashboard at the top here is the uh, is like a big global dashboard overview. Because I'm on the free version, I only get a couple, and I don't use it so much because our business is very um, task focused in a lot of what we do. We don't have large projects, but in the pro version, you get a dashboard, which is a good overview of everything that's going on. So if you go into the My Task section, you can then just start creating tasks. So a couple of ways to do it: one is just click and go New Task. The other way is just to add task, or if you, on anywhere in any of these tasks, if you just click at the front or the end, okay, and then just hit enter. So I'll just go in the front here and go enter. It'll start a new task, and you just need to start typing, okay. So your title is here or in here, okay. And I'm going to write this one as something to do, okay. And I'm going to put um, please do this ASAP as it's really urgent okay and you can write the description of what the task is any references and things you can put in there and I'm going to give that to Denise I'm going to say it's due today at 5 p.m. okay and you can even set it to repeat so it could be like a weekly invoice they need to check or check the coffee for supplies or a reminder that there's billing coming up all kinds of things you know check your pr printing stationery anything like that it's okay so it's really really handy way of doing that so Denise will get that and she'll reply soon but you can also put it inside a project so I want it to go inside this C2 admin one so I'm going to put C2 and it will find and search for it and you can add it in so alternatively I could have clicked in here and made the task underneath there but it doesn't really matter that's the flexibility of it so once Denise gets this she'll get a little orange dot appear in her inbox up here that I've assigned it to her and she'll respond and her little reply will appear down here and when she replies I'll get an orange dot up the top here because then I'm being notified that something's happened on a task that I'm following. Okay, you can see down here, I'm following it and Denise is following it. Okay, so in a moment she'll respond, there you go, right then she's responded already, very, very quick, um, and I've got an orange dot up here. So I can write, um, I'll go now and show you the inbox. So I click that, the inbox is your view to anything that's been updated in your organization. So here, she just replied to that, I can click it, 
and reply here. Thanks, please, please reply again. Okay, and then you get a reply. You can give her a bit of love for that comment or completing the task and then you archive it off. So that removes it out of your inbox and you can continue working the way down through everything that's going on for your team. It's amazing how efficient this is. You really start to multi-thread your way through the work in your business. It's a very, very efficient way. You, I, I literally got three weeks of work the other night. Um, in in like three hours, I was able to update everything that's going on with the team. So when Denise replies again, you'll get a little orange dot appear up here, okay? So we'll just wait for that to come in. Okay, so there you see it's popped up there. That didn't take long at all. And I can click it and she would have added an update to it, okay? So that's uh, basically how you then communicate on tasks. So the other thing is up in the description here, you can put in um, links to procedures. So if you grab a procedure link, you can copy them in there. It's very handy. You can also upload things. So in the task, you can grab a file and um, drag it over and that'll upload. So you see that now uploading here, okay? So you can attach things in very easy like that. The additional thing you can do is create subtasks. So this is really, really important. If you click on this subtask, you can then start just typing out things that need to be done inside that. But what's great is you can create sections as well. So if you type this in, um, I'll put it one, a step above and go set up and put a colon, the colon makes it appear like that. So then this one can be deployment. Okay, and then you put some other tasks and then you can go um, testing. Okay, and then some other tasks. So very quickly, We've got a nice structured list there of things that need to occur and you can assign them to people and when they're due. So that one's for me, that one's for Ellen. Uh, these three, oops, sorry, these three are going to be for Denise. Okay. And so very quickly it's all updated and as they complete them, um, they'll, that will then disappear off there and you'll be able to see what's completed. So it's very easy to look down and go, right, what do we need to do to finish the setup phase? Okay, Denise. Um, where you're at with that. And so each one of these is the same. If you click into it, it's just another task with a description and a thread. And you can go back to the parent one by clicking up here, okay? So really, really nice um, kind of flow and subtasks there. The other nice feature, if you look at any section, let's go into my tasks, is you can then um, look at calendar. And it, there's another nice view of seeing what's going on and when are they due. So um, like this one, I can say, I need to follow them up with that on uh, next Tuesday, let's say next Monday. I'm gonna just drag that over to there and that'll change the date on that project. So that's Asana. If you get in there and start playing with that, you'll love this tool. It is incredibly fast and efficient and allows you to multi-thread across your team, keep your eyes on what's going on and get a lot more work done, okay? so. Get everything out of email that's task-based and put it into Asana and you will be in a whole new world. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you need help setting it up, um, feel free to speak to us. There's a few little tricks and traps in uh, the way you set it up that can actually build a lot of efficiency. So if you want to chat about that, feel free to reach out to us. Look forward to talking to you soon. So we hope you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough of Asana and learning how you can take control of all the tasks in your business and getting a greater level of productivity with this tool. If you'd like more tips and tricks like this, then please feel free to subscribe. You'll find the link below or on our website. Please give the video a like to give it a bit of a boost and share it with your friends and colleagues. We look forward to seeing you next time.